time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel at FM 96.9 The Games. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Hey, Bulldog, what do you say we uh, clear the deck of the uh, non-football stuff before we get into overreaction football Monday? How's that sound? Let's do it, Orlando City. Oh, playoffs are over already. They go up to Montreal, lose 2-0 to Montreal. Uh, they had some chances early in that match last night. Couldn't get it done. They kept kicking the ball over the goal and not into it. Montreal, uh, one of the best teams in the league, so there's no shame in losing to Montreal. Uh, I still say, and I said this before, uh, the match, uh, the playoffs even began. Just the fact that Orlando City made the playoffs, the fact that they won the U.S. Open Cup this year, I think so, I think it's a successful season. Good, because I thought the exact same thing, and I was like, maybe it's just me being half full as usual because Pat bust out with the lackluster season. Lackluster no, season as far as their MLS schedule goes. They still mm. want a cup thing in there. That has nothing, nothing to do with MLS. And it does have nothing to do with MLS, but it does. It, it is part of the you know the soccer season. I, I know as traditional American sports fans, we don't uh, quite grasp that these that these other tournaments actually mean something in soccer. And for the fact that uh, the fact that Orlando City actually won a trophy for the first time in their club's history is uh, pretty significant. And made it to the playoffs. Thank you. And All right, uh, Yankees force game. Game five today with their uh, four two win over the Guardians last night. That's right, but what about what about my Padres though? They were the story of the weekend, eliminating the the Dodgers with the highest payroll in baseball. The Dodgers won one hundred and eleven <laughs> games this year, and my Pods took them down. How did that taste, LA? Uh, huh? Let me look how, back at how, who picked what team. How about the six and a half hour, eighteen inning marathon in Seattle Saturday afternoon slash Saturday night? Oh my God! Could you imagine? I mean, I I like going to baseball games. I don't like sitting through baseball games that long in a packed so, stadium, it, nonetheless. For yeah. for the record, gentlemen, uh, as he's yanking off with his pods, we yeah. have when I look at the names. Pat, Yankees, you see, you still got a chance. Uh, I have the Braves. They're doing good. My they're, Bravos. They're, they're gone. Okay. They're gone. So they're, they're out. And, uh, and by the way, oh, dog, you had the Dodgers. Where are they? I did have the Dodgers. I mean, logically, I don't pick with my heart. I pick with my head. Okay, I'm well, not... they're out, right? Yeah, they're out. Okay, Absolutely. good. So quit it with my pods. You're out. Lynch, you took the cake on this one. Credit where credit due. Well, I don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves. they got to play again uh, this evening to see who moves on. Uh, Joey Logano gets the win in Vegas yesterday. Moves him on to the uh, the final to the four champion. in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah, to the championship round. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's dominant in Vegas. I think he's won three times in Vegas uh, throughout his career. So, yeah, Joey Logano, who won the championship batting, back in 2018. And Team Penske, man, uh, they are rolling. They won the Indy Car Championship a couple of weeks ago, and now they're in the running to win the NASCAR Championship as well. Uh, quick news for the Magic, Jalen Suggs, who hyperextended his knee uh, uh, in the preseason. He will be available for the opener uh, coming up on Wednesday, so good for that. Yeah, NBC, right. N- NBA season opens tomorrow with two games. That's right. Yeah. I know. All right, on to football. Not a good Sunday for our state NFL teams. The Dolphins go down. They're... <laughs> Their third team quarterback, Skylar Thompson, got hurt. Uh, so they had to bring Teddy Bridgewater in off the bench, uh, who was just a emergency quarterback. So they brought him in. Uh, Bridgewater di- didn't actually play that badly. Dolphins' offense wasn't the problem yesterday. It was their defense that was the problem. They lose to the Vikings 24-16. Uh, to 16. Um, the Jaguars lose to the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, that's their third straight loss. Um, and the Bucks. Oh my God, mm. the Bucks lose to the pathetic Steelers. They lose to the Steelers, who just who'd lost. I think they lost four in a row. A uh, twenty to eighteen. The Bucks lose to the Steelers, and you're gonna. This is gonna be a pretty big story. Tom Brady took more time off from the team to attend Patriots owner Robert Kraft's wedding in New York City on Friday night. Did not fly to the game with the team. He skipped the Bucks walkthrough practice in meetings Saturday morning because he was not back from the wedding. And, oh, by the way, 
he was not escorted by his wife Giselle at the wedding. So um, th that's going to be a pretty big story, I think, today. People are going to be debating is Brady fully committed to the team, right? I, it certainly doesn't mm. feel that way. <laughs> right. I, or look that way. They were pathetic uh, yesterday. That's, that's all there is to it. I, I looked. I, did you guys see him mouthing the MFR and the GDs, everything? He was so pissed. Screaming at the linemen on the yeah. sideline. He, yeah. he was screaming at his offensive linemen yeah. because they weren't protecting him. Yeah. How I'm about Kraft getting married? How, how old was that dame he married? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she like, I don't know, 26 or something? I don't know. Did he meet her at the massage? <laughs> was she a I'm therapeutic massage uh, <laughs> practitioner? Nice. I'm not sure. Eagles uh, undefeated. Under, Eagles. Eagles undefeated. But what about the New York teams? The Giants and the Jets. The pathetic New York teams are rolling right now. They both win yesterday. They're both, if not at the top of their division, at least they're challenging at the top of their division. So good for the New York teams for actually winning. Uh, speaking of New York teams, how about those Buffalo Bills yeah. uh, beating the Chiefs yesterday 24-20? to That was a showdown between two, maybe the two best quarterbacks in the league, Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. The difference was Patrick Mahomes threw a couple of interceptions in that game that allowed the uh, Bills to squeak, you know, come up, come up with a squeaker. They scored the last touchdown with a minute four remaining. So uh, uh, it was Josh Allen to, to uh, Dawson Knox, whose brother, by the way, was a, a player at FIU who mm -hmm. just passed away a few weeks ago. Yeah, that was a, a, a cool story for him. You saw the emotion after he scored, you know. Absolutely. Hey, uh, Bulldog, college football, I, I said this at the start of the show. I want to ask you, have you ever seen a post-game celebration the likes of what happened at oh Rocky Top on Saturday oh night? God. Good Lord, after the, 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 they kicked the knuckleball field goal to win the game 52 to 49. And yeah, the, the stands just, every, every, there was like 108,000 fans. I think they were all on the field <laughs> tearing down the goal post. The taco, the Josh goal post, Heifel, they, they tore yeah. down the goal post, carried them out of the stadium, and threw them in the river. Awesome. The river. I have the video the footage tissue. of that on the Lynch and Taco Block. If you haven't seen that yet, it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and by the way, um, I, I've been saying all I've been saying for years that Josh Heupel is the greatest offensive coach in college football. He's proven it. He proved it Saturday. Fifty-two points on Alabama, five hundred and fifty yards of offense. Man, five hundred sixty-nine yards of offense. They are rolling right now. Uh, the question is, if they beat, if they lose to Georgia and don't get into the SEC championship game, can they still get to the playoffs? <laughs> Hmm? It's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. Alabama is still in a golden position to get to the playoff. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. If they win, if they win the West and beat Georgia, yeah, they're yeah. in. I, I was talking to a Georgia fan yesterday, and he said, "He goes, I'm concerned." He goes, "He goes, I go to that game every year because one of his friends is a is a diehard Tennessee, so they both go to the game every year." He goes, "He goes, I've been giving a mess all these years." He goes, "I'm a little worried. <laughs> I would be yeah. too." By the way, Gators lose to LSU. Clemson beats FSU. Miami squeaked uh, a squeaker over Virginia Tech, although that game wasn't as close as the score indicated. But uh, Florida, Florida State, and Miami, they're all mediocre this year. I think we all would agree upon that. Yeah. The, the days of the college football national championship <laughs> going through Florida are long gone. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. UCF. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you can argue that. All right, I, Bulldog, I know there's there's lots more to discuss, and I know you'll be doing it there on FM 96.9 The Game this morning. We thank you for taking some time to uh, join us here during the sports page on JRR and give us the sounds of a grown man barking to take us out. Oh, oh. Check out the Daily Podcast anytime on the iHeartRadio app. Download it for free at WJRR.com.